Well, Dennis Cox, Beef Australia CEO, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here at Norco Primax this year. Before we just get your thoughts on the field day and casino, can you give us the highlights of what you've just achieved with you and your team out of Rockhampton? Yeah, we had a fantastic event. Uh, 2018 uh, marked our uh, 30th uh, year, 11th Expo, and uh, this time we broke 100,000 people, so a really great response over the week. Uh, 1,200 international guests from over 43 countries. Uh, yeah, it was just a really uh, celebration of the Australian beef industry, so terrific to be here in Casino, the second beef capital of Australia. Fantastic, Dennis. And when you look at uh, what's happening here at Primex, are there any uh, messages uh, that you could sort of share with us in terms of what you've done up in Rockhampton in terms of growing the event down here in terms of the improvements that have been made with etc to the roads and those those sorts of things. Oh look this is a fantastic facility here, very large and great to see so many exhibitors. Um, you know I suppose one of the areas that we uh, picked up on in the last couple of expos is that food experience and to grow the Australian beef industry you need more people eating beef so we really embrace the celebrity chefs and the cooking demonstrations and using whole carcass and that dragged a lot of people through the gates. People love eating and particularly you know when you've got these low and slow and Texas style uh, barbecues and uh, the rumps and humps uh, was very popular and you know at our event this year we had Curtis Stone, uh, we had Pete Evans, uh, the, the Iron Chef from Japan um, and yeah really attracted a new market. Fantastic and, and also at the other end at the start of the chain I understand the cattle showing was tremendous which is something that uh, Primex is introducing this year and, and having a greater focus on. Yeah, definitely. You know, we have over 3,000 head of cattle at Beef Australia and I suppose being every three years it, it is aligned to like the Olympics of the cattle comps. They come from all over Australia. Um, we have a national carcass competition, the only of its kind in Australia, uh, and to commercial cattle comp and stud cattle. And uh, yeah, it's highly prestigious to win at those events, but great to be down here and seeing some of the local cattle here in Casino and beautiful weather this time of year in Casino and uh, yeah, people are very passionate about the beef industry in this region. Fantastic, Dennis. And one other thing that uh, is happening next year with Primex is that we're actually moving our dates uh, to uh, dovetail in with uh, Casino Beef Week, um, and that's just to create a greater beef awareness as well and uh, uh, basically um, get a bigger impact for this show and also for Beef Week down here. So. Uh, any thoughts on that? I think it's great that you know combining uh, with uh, Casino Beef Week. I think you know the synergies there of uh, one dovetailing into the other is great. You know people can come from uh, for both events. Uh, you know I don't think it can be underestimated what the the two events bring to Casino. Um, you know as you know every motel, hotel, restaurant, pubs are all booked out, and uh, that boost to the economy is vital for for these regions. And uh, yeah, it's terrific to see the work that Bruce and and the Casino Beef Week are, are doing for uh, Casino and the region.